Okay, let's move on to Paul Newman's new movie. It's Fort Apache, the Bronx. And in this one, he plays a veteran cop whose beat is the toughest precinct in New York City. His daily grind includes everything from delivering babies to breaking up street fights. And in this scene, Newman and his partner have a run-in with a pimp and his prostitute, played by Pam Greer. Keep it off the street. Hey, I put it out in the line, and she don't come back with nothing. I mean, she used to be the main hoe on the set. It's not that I mean, bad. she could pull anybody. She was smoking that angel dust, you dig? I mean, that's going to make you crazy. I mean, I mean, I can't even deal with hey, it. Hey, 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 Just keep it off the street, huh? We're in a nice, clean sector here. Come on. One day, Newman is called to the scene of a riot. The streets are full of looters, and the rooftops are full of brick-throwing teenagers. Newman can handle that, but he's stunned when he sees how his fellow officers react. Police! Call the police officers! Three. That's right, against the wall. Spread them out. Come on, spread them out! Spread them out! Come on, spread them! Come on, let's take a little nap with your friend down here. Ah, it's cheap bait. Instead of going to the movie, they just walk up on the roof and watch the buildings burn. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, you look at them muffs. Yeah, Morgan and Finley with a couple of hot shots, huh? Hey, Morgan! Hey, they can't hear you. What? Hey! 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 What? Hey, Morgan! Hey! Get the kid alone! Hey, he didn't do hey! nothing! That act of police brutality sticks in Newman's mind and causes a crisis in his career. And those kinds of nitty-gritty locations try to convince us we're looking at a fairly realistic portrait of a cop in his city. Unfortunately, though, the storyline of Fort Apache the Bronx is a real mess. Mm. Too many characters are introduced and they're never dealt with or heard from again. And Newman's life gets so filled up with romances and hostage <laughs> rescues and hanging from ropes, personal crises, that what started out as realism turns into a vicious soap opera. I was very disappointed. Me too. He even delivers a baby in the movie. <laughs> it's been a long time, other than Slapshot, which I liked a couple of years ago from Paul Newman. It's been a long time, maybe since The Sting, since Paul Newman really made a good picture. And that's mm -hmm. disappointing. Mm -hmm. I'm agreeing with you wholeheartedly on this film for the, exactly the same reason you expect. South Bronx, we know that President Carter, President Reagan have held press conferences mm -hmm. there. It's an important part of the big city. Mm -hmm. uh, we're interested in this area, so we're going to learn something. It's going to be a French connection, tough, realistic? No. No. Forney, 50s cornball melodrama, police, one good policeman, Newman, and the rest of the cops are lousy, and most of the people in the area are lousy, too. And I really saw it as sort of a star vehicle for Paul Newman and disappointed me a great yeah, deal. There's a real contrast between the reality of that location and the old TV melodrama that they throw in there. And another thing disappointed me, the second Billy in this film goes to Edward Asner. Now, a lot of people yeah. admire him from his television work. Right. They want to see him in a real performance. They think second Billy, maybe he's really going to be on the screen a lot and interact with Paul Newman, mm. but he's not. Mm. He's only in the movie for eight or nine minutes. He plays, in total, he plays the commander who comes in to clean up this precinct, and mm -hmm. then he just walks around. It's the same performance he gives on Lou Grant. Instead of walking around the city room giving orders, <laughs> he's walking around the squad room. And that was sort of a disappointment. I, I really wanted to see him stretch a little bit. Me too, and he does, a, I think, a pretty poor Irish accent playing the cop, too. Mm -hmm. Both Gene and I also voted no on Fort Apache, the Bronx, the new Paul Newman mm -hmm. picture with an old-fashioned and incomprehensible storyline. 